What's this? An MCU one-shot Halloween special? I don't have to pretend to care about Hocus Pocus? Werewolf by Night is a Disney Plus Halloween special based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name. There has been talk of a Werewolf by Night movie from both Kevin Feige and Avi Arad by Dimension Films since May of 2001, but has been in development hell for decades. Kevin Smith actually wanted to use Werewolf by Night for his Howard the Duck series for Hulu, but Foggy told him no, as he had plans for the character. Allow me to explain my stance on the MCU. To me, the MCU is like McDonald's. When it's bad, it's completely flavorless, and you wonder why you spent the money. Most of the time, it's fine. But when it's good, it hits the fucking spot like nothing else will. Werewolf by Night is a hot and fresh large Big Mac meal made by Guy Fieri himself, right down to using beef tallow for the fries. Michael Giacchino did not have to drop both a banger score for the Batman and the best thing to come out of the MCU since Avengers Infinity War in the same year. I'm just floored by the fact that a man who was first and foremost known as a composer delivered such an awesome entry into the MCU as a filmmaker. This is an absolutely sincere love letter to the Universal Studios monster movies, right down to its fantastic black and white cinematography by Zoe White and usage of cigarette burns. This film was also shot in digital, but ran through 35mm, and it shows, as it has style dripping down the screen. Also, it is so goddamn refreshing to see actual practical effects in an MCU property. Not only does Giacchino direct this, he also composed the score, and he goes hard in that department too. Which goes into the violence of Werewolf by Night. You know how shocking it is to see a predominantly PG-13 franchise have blood on a camera lens? Better yet, see some of the best action sequences since Captain America the Winter Soldier? Let me reiterate this point. The fact that this guy is coming for the John Williams throne while being shockingly good at filmmaking is astounding. Not only is this genuinely well written, it delivers on its scares as well. When Jack Russell transitions, it's one of the best transition scenes since an American werewolf in London. One of my main gripes with the MCU is the studio-mandated humor. In Werewolf by Night, it feels natural to the character. Man-Thing got a huge laugh out of me by being named Ted. It's not this. Are you like a superhero? I'm Daredevil. Well, it is very daring to use ketchup and mustard as your color scheme. Kevin Feige, for the love of Christ, retire that shitty, that's a stupid name joke format! Gael Garcia Bernal is fantastic as our lead Jack Russell. Yes, that's right, as in the dog breed. Gotta love Silver Age comic names. He is trapped in a room with other monster hunters, and they're pitted in a most dangerous game scenario where the winner will receive the Bloodstone. Laura Donnelly is fantastic and badass as Elsa Bloodstone, who seeks to protect the monsters. You know what? Fuck the MCU Disney Plus TV shows of varying quality. I want to see more of this in the MCU. These well-crafted one-shots that are experimental passion projects that aren't necessarily tied to the MCU at large. If this were a movie, this would have easily cracked my top five favorite films of 2022. Check out Werewolf by Night right now. I could easily watch this year round. Be sure to like, comment, share, spread the word of New Realms Media. Follow me on all my socials at New Realms Media. And until then, I'll see you next time.